I guess tonight is the night Penn National gives Western Massachusetts more insight into their multi-million dollar plan for a resort casino in Springfield. 22 News reporter Nicole Nalepa standing by at the casino company's red carpet event with a look at their prospective plans. Uh, the presentation is now over behind me, but for the past hour, residents, uh, local business owners, and local officials have been given a more detailed vision of what Penn National is hoping to bring here to the city of Springfield. Uh, this invite-only event has been decked out in an old Hollywood theme that embodies the style casino Penn National hopes to bring to the city. This is a very mixed crowd in the room tonight, from residents to business leaders to local officials, as well as local, regional, and national national celebrities like former NFL star and Massachusetts native Doug Flutie. Flutie is one of the Penn National business partners. He's looking to open up a sports bar in the middle of the proposed casino. Also on stage tonight was Peter Pignelli, CEO of the Peter Pan Bus Lines. He's one of the local partners who has been working with Penn National for some time, and he gave the opening words tonight. Now, in addition to the resort-style casino, Penn National is also proposing a hotel on the 13.4 acres in the city's north end. The company is currently competing against MGM in Springfield's south end and Mohegan Sun in Palmer. Now, back here inside the Paramount Theater, the party continues. There's a lot of excitement in the air since the business leaders have all been announced. They were standing up here on the stage with the CEO of Penn National. So uh, this is the last casino here in Springfield to finally reveal their plans. Uh, many people were wondering why it was taking so long for Penn National to reveal the plans. The CEO addressed that tonight. But certainly now uh, the game is on and uh, all of the casino bids for the city of Springfield will be due in by the first week of January. Live in Springfield inside the Paramount Theater, 